Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the Flame Hit 97 here, and I'm here for a throwback album review, and it's going to be for JoJo's album, The High Road. I've been wanting to get this review out for the last several weeks. I've just been putting it on delay because I've been too lazy to record videos, honestly. So, I'm finally going to step up and get this review out because I don't want to put it on hold any longer. So let's go ahead and get started with this review for JoJo's album, The High Road. So the first song on the album is the song called This Time. This is a really great album opener. I've really enjoyed this song. It's got this great beat, great lyrics, and JoJo's singing on it is just really great. So great album opener. I would give this song a 4.5 out of a 5. Great song. Second song on the album is the song called The Way You Do Me. And now when I first heard the song back in probably like November of 2021, I wasn't really feeling the song at first. But then the more and more I listened to the song and the album, for the song pretty much grew on me so now it's a song that I like I mean it's not my favorite on the album or anything but it's a song that did personally grow on me over time so the way you do me cool song is produced by Swizz Beats and I think Sean Garrett if I remember correctly it's definitely a cool song though it's pretty fun as well so yeah it's definitely a fun song I know some of the lyrics might be kind of sexual for someone who was a teenager on this album because Jojo was only 15 when this album was released but either way this is a good song and I'm glad that it did finally grow on me over time as I already said so yeah the way you do me I'd give the song a three out of a five so the next song on the album is too little too late this is one of my favorite songs of all time when it comes to Jojo's music I just love this song a lot. I can definitely relate to it myself with my past relationships that I've been in. You know, so yeah, it's definitely a song you can relate to. It's just emotional song as well because of the content behind it, you know. So yeah, this is a song that never gets old to me. I never get tired of hearing this song. As long as I live, I'll always enjoy this song because it's a good song and it's very relatable. So, this song, I'm giving it a 5 out of a 5. Too little, too late. Love the song. And as I said, it's one of my personal favorites from Jojo Coop. It's a great song and very relatable. So yeah, Too Little, Too Late gets a 5 out of a 5 for me. Great song. So the next song on this album is the title track of the album. This is a really good song. I really like the lyrics in it. And it just lets you know that People can never bring you down. You can never let people bring you down or take you down in life. You gotta rise above them and take the high road pretty much. It's basically what the song is about, at least what I get from the chorus of the song. So it's pretty much another song you can get behind and relate to. So the title track, I'd give the song a four out of a five. Great song for sure. So the next song on the album, is anything this is an amazing song i really love this song it's my favorite when it comes to the more underrated singles from the album because the biggest hit when it comes to the singles was too little too late but yeah anything this song is really great this was like jojo's final single before her record label issues that she had a couple years or so after this album was released so it's definitely sad stuff but however anything is still an amazing song and it's one of my favorite jojo songs of all time and i just really love this song and it samples the song called africa which is a 1980s song so it's definitely cool that jojo took a really great sample from a really great 80s song so it's definitely a cool thing with this jojo song anything so yet yeah, the song is amazing i really love it 
So this is another song I would give a 5 out of a 5 for. Definitely a great song. So the next song on the album is called Like That. This is another good song. And when it comes to the deep cuts, it's not one of my favorites, but still a song that I like from the album. I mean, I really don't know what to say about the song, but I still like it though. Because it's a good song still. So the song like that, I'd give this one a 3.5 out of a 5. Definitely a good song. So track 7 on the album is called Good Old. Another good song. What is there really much to say about it? It's not a bad song at all. It's definitely a great one. So Good Old is definitely a good song. So this song, I'd give this one also a 3.5 out of a 5. Really amazing song. So, yeah, good old, definitely good song, 3.5 out of a 5. So the next song on, on the album is called Coming, Coming For You. Coming For You is another amazing song, another one of my favorite deep cuts. And maybe my favorite deep cut on the album, because this song is amazing. I just love listening to the song every time I listen to not just the album, but JoJo in general. This is a song I come back to a lot when it comes to her discography. So this is another song I'm going to give a 5 out of a 5 for. I love it a lot. Definitely amazing. Great lyrics. Just everything about the song is amazing. So yeah, coming for you, 5 out of a 5. Amazing. Next song on the album is Let It Rain. Every time I hear this, I get a Shanti vibes because of the vocals from JoJo. Just the way she she presents herself and sings in it. I get kind of a, a shanty vibes when it comes to the song since they're both singers from the 2000s. And JoJo's singing this was kind of similar to the shanty, if you guys know what I mean. Maybe not to you guys, but to me, that's just what I get with it. But still a good song. So Let It Rain, I'd give this one a 4.5 out of a 5. Definitely a good one for sure. So track 10 of the album is exceptional. This is the ballad of the album. This is such a beautiful song. It brought bring you to tears every time you listen to it because everyone in the world matters no matter who you are, you know. You just know you matter to the world. You can't let anyone tell you that you don't matter because you definitely do. So this is one of those types of songs that you can just crank on and relate to any time of your life just an amazing song and it's another one of my favorite deep cuts so exceptional i love this song so much it's so amazing her singing and it's just very great so yeah this is another song i'm giving a five out of a five such an amazing song so yeah exceptional definitely amazing so track 11 of the album as how to touch a girl now honestly when I first heard about this song, I wasn't really into it. But the more and more I got to hear it, I grew into the song pretty much. Just similar to one of the songs I mentioned earlier on in the review. So yeah, How to Touch a Girl is definitely a good song. I believe it was one of the singles. It's more underrated when it comes to the singles because not many of the singles on this album were big hits. Honestly, and that's sad because... This is such a great album. So yeah, How to Touch a Girl. I'd give this one a 3 out of a 5. Definitely a good song. So the closing track of the standard edition of the album is the song Note to God. This is another emotional track. Because in the song, Jojo is saying a lot of amazing things that she would say in A Note to God. So yeah, Note to God. I love this song. It's another great emotional song from JoJo. So I would give this song also a 5 out of a 5. Just another song that I'm giving a high score for because it's amazing. Another one of my favorites on the album. So I'm finally glad I got this review out for you guys for JoJo's album The High Road. I do sincerely apologize about the delays. Like I said, I've just been kind of going through a rough time with depression and stuff and that's kind of why I've been putting the review off as well 
but I'm finally glad that I get to get it out for you guys. Cause not only am I a big fan of JoJo's music, but this is my favorite JoJo album of all time, which explains why I chose it first to review when it comes to any of her albums. So yeah, this album, I'm going to give this album a 9.5 out of a 10, only because there's a couple songs that, or songs that I still like, but they're not favorites for me, those being The Way You Do Me and How To Touch A Girl. But the rest of the album is great. All 12 songs are good, but that's just how I feel about two of the songs. Ten of them are really good. Just two I like, but not favorites. So that explains why it's getting a 9.5 out of a 10 rating. So yeah, guys, this has been my review for The High Road by JoJo. Let me know what y'all think of JoJo and this album. If you never heard of her, I definitely recommend her music. If you're a fan of R&B and pop music, even though this is a straightforward R&B album. So yeah, I'll see y'all next time. Peace.